Hello everybody, I'm Endemore Central and welcome to Wolverhampton bus station. Once again we're here um, before in a video and we're headed straight north to Staffordshire. For this video we're staying in the West Midlands. I've not got my hat on, I've worn the wrong clothing for today as it's going to be about 18 degrees and I've worn a coat, so that's going to be fun. But what we're going to do in this video is we're primarily going to focus around Trident, so it's going to be adventuring on Trident around the West Midlands, but also experiencing what National Express West Midlands have to offer as well as um, some of their express services and hopefully a trek to Birmingham as well so have a look at the city centre. So what we're going to do, we're going to head inside, we're going to go on a few local services with Trident's on and then probably slowly make our way over to Birmingham centre or with um, National Express West Midlands today. 4559 is our first Trident. Thank you, see you later. Thank you. So there we go, so that was four five or four five five nine on the 59, so we're gonna cross over and hopefully get another one. So the bus stop is back over here. So those 59s run every six minutes and the entire service is full of Dennis Trident. There's nothing but Dennis Trident running every six minutes on a tightly time service. Um, and in 2022 is not something I thought I would be saying. Um, so that is incredibly exciting. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this, trying to take off some more 53 regs as with some traffic um, sort of roadworks that are going on at the moment. The buses are going a little bit faster than they normally would do as they are a bit um, cut short for time. So here's our bus. 4563. Thank you. Thank you. So here we are in Wednesday. We're going to go for breakfast and then probably jump on some more Tridents on the 59. 4561. There we go, so that was 4561 and we're now going to head round to the 79 stand to get a 79 to slowly make our way round to Birmingham. Four five nine eight, BX54 DDA will be our bus, our first bus on the 79. So this one's got an old style interior on it, looking very very nice, been a while since I've seen one of these, with the rest of them having relatively new ones.
thank you. So here we are, and that was 4598. So we're going to take a few photos here with some buses as I see a fandy dart, and then we're going to jump on the 79 behind that is, yes, another Trident. So that was 4598, so we're now at Darleston Interchange. The next bus is about 12 minutes or so behind that. They're every 12 minutes of the 79s. And on the day of filming, all but one are Trident. So there's an E400 MMC lurking around. Although, thankfully, it isn't the one behind. The one behind is going to be a Trident. So that'll be nice. Here we are in Wednesbury, so we'll jump off, have a little nosey, take some photos, and probably um, get the one behind again. That uh, hopefully is once again a trident. Thank you. Thank you. So here we are in West Bromwich. So as one of the standard E400s leaves, we've got a nice B7 for our trip into Birmingham Centre. So we are in Birmingham Centre for my first ever time. So heading out of Birmingham now, I'm going to try one of the Enviro 400 MMCs, 6782 SN66 WCE and one of the express services out of the city. Hello. Thank you. Margaret Street. So first impressions of this Enviro 400 MMC, one of the sort of platinum 
um, range of vehicles like the services that National Express West Midlands offer there's a few there's a lot more leg room here obviously in Birmingham and things commuter services are quite busy and so having this extra leg room means that people can actually physically sit on those seats rather than the usual case where these seats are quite crammed and you usually sort of like um, pushed into pushed into your own seat to try and allow somebody to sit off opposite so it feels like there's a bit more leg room a negative however the USB on this specific vehicle and um, in the seat that we're sat isn't working um, I imagine that they work on other seats on this vehicle but with it being the back seat it's clearly being damaged this is nice branding as well and the next stop announcements work very very nicely so all in all and well done National Express West Midlands and they've created quite a nice brand overall So here we are in Dudley, so we'll wander down to the bus station, it looks like it's there, and jump on our next bus for part two of the trip back to Wolverhampton. I believe this is 4311, it turns out to be the oldest Trident, or the second oldest Trident, on the West Midlands fleet. And the oldest one being um, the Y-Edge and y 716 h that's in the Heritage livery. Um, but this is sort of the second oldest, the one that I was more after because obviously as much as the y will be kept on because it's quite a Heritage bus, this 51 plate is the last of the 51 plate Tridents they've got. Um, and obviously will be withdrawn incredibly soon, it might even have been withdrawn by the time this video comes out. So we've got this bus all the way up to Wolverhampton on the one, the one usually sees um, newer vehicles on but occasionally it has these older ones um, and obviously will provide quite a nice tuneful ride to Wolverhampton all being well. Um, they do still have some 51 plates in the form of B70L, so Volvos, and there's quite a number of them still around um, but obviously this is the last 51 plate Trident so hopefully it'll be quite an interesting run over to Wolverhampton. There we go, so that was the second oldest Trident in the West Midlands fleet. So here we are at the conclusions um, and to sum up um, the trip that I made. So again, like the rest of the West Midlands Staffordshire kind of airy videos, it's a brand new area for me. This was just an overview. There's a lot more to do within the West Midlands. There's a lot more to sort of see and sample. But I thought for this video, we'd do a little bit of a summary of some of the old buses that you can see with the National Express West Midlands fleet that is predominant the Tridents. Because, yes, I do like Tridents. So I thought, well, if we're going to go there, I know that they have quite a lot of Tridents left. I thought we'd sample them. And I think the conclusions of this is, although they do tend to stick to specific routes, obviously based at specific garages, they are incredibly easy to find and incredibly easy to sample. Some of them only do peak time runs, so it's like that Service 1, for example, that we did, had hybrids throughout the day, and then that Trident and about three, four others rocked up out of nowhere to cover some peak time boards, but other routes, like the 79 that went on um, for sort of the first half of the day um, to go to West Bromwich, that was Tridents from start till finish of the shift. Pretty much all but one were Tridents, and the only one that wasn't was an E400 MMC. So they do quite well around there. I am in anticipating to return. I saw a few independent operators and things that I do wish to um, explore more and sample their services and their vehicles. 
as well as wanting to explore a bit more some of the brands and the different routes and different depots and different vehicles that National Express West Midlands operate. With this just being like a basic sort of introduction to the area where hopefully over the next couple of months I'll be recording a little bit more content from. So do expect a few more videos like this and a few more specific videos. If you do have any suggestions of what I can film around West Midlands and even the Staffordshire areas, please do get in touch as I'm up for all ideas. I know that National Express West Midlands do have some hydrogen um, street decks that I'm hoping to sample, although I understand that they have been struggling to get them out into service. So again, stuff like that I'm hoping to sample in the very near future. So if you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And More Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.